I have so much to take to the mall tomorrow. It's like a camping vibe adventure Barbie. Like, look, look at her adventuring. So, what a wonderful I just got home. It's literally 1230 in the morning, but I need to show you some stuff. First of all, look what my cousin got me for Christmas. We need a better here, 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 here. Are you joking me? He got me the Lizzie McGuire Funko Pop. I am shocked. I'm so excited. I could cry. So this is her if you haven't seen her before. Lizzie and Cartoon Lizzie. I love that they made Cartoon Lizzie look like Cartoon Lizzie, you know, like her hair, her face, everything. <sighs> I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm on a perfume kick. You know how I just got the vanilla ones? Well, I got these ones too because they were the last one in the store and I said, why not just have 8 million perfumes? And then I got this Amazing Grace Philosophy set. I was telling you guys, this one's my absolute favorite. So I thought, why not get the set of three? It was on sale. It was still $48 and they're pretty small. Let me show you how small they are. Like they are pretty tiny. This is how small they are. But a full Amazing Grace is $92 and I got three of these little guys for only 48 and I've never smelled these ones before and they're so good. Honestly, this lavender one is amazing. I highly recommend these top tier. And now for what ooh, my dad got me. He thrifted these. I'm so excited. Firstly, these Tigger Sandy Line stickers, which are much bigger than what I thought they were. Love that. Then these vintage like Valentine puzzles. Are you kidding me? And then there's these ones on the back. Like I'm actually obsessed. These will be on my Etsy for sure. Two never before opened never before opened garfield valentines from 1978 i'm still debating on what to do with these i'm gonna look them up see what they're worth but i feel like i'm definitely going to open one of these because i want one this one in my collection and i feel like these would look cute in the mystery valentines and then i might just sell a whole box never before opened and then should we open this 12 assorted cards. I don't think they're Valentine cards. I think they're just like actual cards. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, they are Valentine. Stop. Wow. I didn't think they were. Oh my goodness. What are the other ones? Oh my are these the only designs what's in the back there's more there's more i can't tell if this one's my favorite or the castle one. Oh wow 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 and it came with a single sheet of stickers so wow i can't believe my dad found the best valentine's day stuff so far i look awful but i have this like random energy burst where I need to smell these perfumes that I got. I need to smell them. Okay, this is the first one is, also they're from Soli Notes. The first one is Free Sia. Let's smell it. I love that one. I actually love that one. Let's spray this one a little bit more over here. This one is Rose. Rose. Kind of giving fresh, not fresh, but like a laundry detergent that is Rose. Like a Rose laundry detergent. That's kind of, it's not my favorite. So far my favorite is Freesia. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm smelling Freesia over here. And the last one is Cherisier. This one seems fancy. Okay, let's try it over here. Oh, I sprayed something else over here. Oh goodness, over here maybe? Ooh, 
That's my favorite. Ooh, this one is fun. This one is getting like fun and flirty. I'm currently working on some more bundles for the antique mall because I keep selling them. So now I'm gonna make larger ones that are gonna be a little bit more money. But um, I kind of took some stuff off of my Etsy that I had in bundles since they weren't selling on there. So this is a Nickelodeon one. Comes with this Patrick that still has the tag. You're kidding me. And then we have Fairly Odd Parents DVD, iCarly Mad Libs, Powerpuff Girls book, this SpongeBob little activity pad. And then we have a Hey Arnold lanyard and then a Cosmo figure so i think that is a really cute nickelodeon bundle and it comes in the cutest vintage rugrats bag so oh i love it all right i'm putting another bundle together and first we're going to put this never before opened looney tunes puzzle from 2003 in this my little pony bag this land before time dvd this aqua marine book from 2001 a Sabrina the Teenage Witch CD. Then some little toys. We've got Tweety Bird. Ronald McDonald from 1995. We've got um, Marge Simpson. What year are you from? From 2007. And then we've got this little pup. I forget what they're like, what it is, what the name is, but it's from the 90s. I can't read the year. I'm actually going to take out this little Tweety and put in this bigger Tweety. Okay, now I'm making a Disney one. So the first thing is this Disney collection cassette tape that has never been opened before. It's from 1991. Then they're getting the cutest little Cinderella um, golden story. This Lilo and Stitch 2 Stitch has a glitch. This is actually a movie. They're getting the cutest little Timon and Pumbaa notebook. A Sleeping Beauty McDonald's toy with Sleeping Beauty herself. One of the Elvin and the Chipmunks, which I have to check actually now if it's Disney or not. <laughs> it might not be Disney, let me check. And then this is Pixar, but I mean, don't we all associate A Bug's Life with Disney? I may also have to think about this. I took out the Elvin and the Chipmunks and I'm gonna put in this Disney Mighty Ducks matching color book. Okay, now I'm putting together some more Lilith's Pet Shop bags. So this is the six I chose. We have a hippo, we have a octopus, a little... What is this guy's name? What are you? Why can't I think of what you are? Anywho, you, a ferret? <laughs> then we have a monkey, this little, what are you? A flying deer looking thing, some kind of mystical creature, and then a, and then a little dog. All right, and this is the second bag. We have another little mystical creature. We have an octopus, a deer, a little butterfly, a cute gecko slash lizard and then a little caterpillar a glittery one i have so much to take to the mall tomorrow thankfully it's a vendor day which means the mall is closed it's just vendors who can come and like organize our booth like i have so many things i hope it can fit all in the booth <laughs> Hey, we are on our way to the antique mall. It is a vendor day. I've never actually been to a vendor day before, but um, you know, there's a first time for everything. So we'll see how that goes. I think it's just literally a day that vendors can come in nine to five, do a lot of work if needed. I am bringing a lot of stuff today. So that's why I'm coming on a vendor day because I just need a lot of time to organize everything and I feel awkward doing it in front of customers. So we're gonna see how that goes. I'll show you what I'm adding. Um, and then after that, we're gonna go to a couple thrift stores. And then I think I'm gonna pop into Marshall's because when I was searching for Valentine's Day stuff, I forgot to check Marshall's. So we're gonna check Marshall's. And then I think I might go to Ikea. I don't know though, we will see. As always, here is the before. This is what it looks like before I organize it and add some new stuff. I honestly was getting a little bit overwhelmed because I didn't know where to put everything. There was just, it was a little chaotic today, but this is what it looks like after. So clean, so fun, so cute. Look at all the new goodies I added. Some Webkins, a Pokemon plush, a new Tweety plush, a Care Bear plush and even Power Rangers plushes. Today was a day of plushes, to be honest. I also added some new mystery bags. I made bigger ones. We've got a Nickelodeon one, a Disney one, a random one, 
a little Winnie the Pooh plush, some more Littlest Pet Shop bags. I'm pretty sure one already sold. Also, these are little Star Wars standee cardboard cutouts. A pink dog, Austin Powers himself has made an appearance in my booth. A One Direction game that I think sold already, but I don't remember now that I think about it. I need to, I might have sold. And then a little alien figure I put on my dad's side. Then I decided to like look around the mall. I haven't done that in a while. So I looked around, shopped around. I came really close to getting these recess characters. And I was thinking of getting them to put in some of my mystery bags. I thought that would be cute. Like maybe I can make a couple Disney Channel mystery bags. Um, but yeah, there was a lot of cutie things like these Barbie Wizard of Oz little characters that I've only really seen like once in my life. So that was a nice little treat. There's one thing about the antique mall. You will always find Barbies there. I think I got there earlier than a lot of vendors go because I got there at like 9.30 and it was so quiet. Like there's maybe a couple other vendors and then by the time I was done, it was like 10 o'clock, still nobody. So I was like, I'm gonna walk around, I'm gonna shop. So I walked around and filmed another TikTok video. I filmed so many videos today, oh my goodness. And then now that I'm leaving, there are so many vendors. So I feel like everybody comes around 10, 10.30. So good to know. But yeah, it's like, it's pretty busy now with all the vendors getting everything together, reorganizing, adding stuff. So it was really fun. But um, now we're gonna go to a couple thrift stores. We're gonna go to Goodwill and then we're gonna go to Value Village, of course. So let's hope for some Valentine stuff. I went straight to the toys at Goodwill and I found this Snow White plush. Her nose was so adorable. Like, look at that little button nose. Found this cute little Polly Pocket car. I think it was from like 2003 or something. And then these vintage counting stands. They were kind of scaring me with that clown. This was so cute. Like, it was giving that like Y2K transparent look. But I think it was a karaoke machine. Um, but I didn't know anything about it. So let me know if you've seen this before. I was kind of tempted to get it just because of the transparency of it. There was not much. The only thing I picked up were some like knockoff silly bands. These are the shapes on this one. They're Harmony. They never go out of shape. Harmony. Um, I like them because they're like multicolored. Like these look cooler than regular silly bands in my opinion. And then I got some little princess ones though. I don't think all of them are in there, but they were only 50 cents. So picked those up for goodie bags. And now we're gonna head to Value Village. I saw this little box from the corner of my eye and I'm like, that kind of looks like Barbie. And it was, it literally was Y2K Barbie, but it wasn't in the greatest condition on the inside. And I think it was missing a couple of like the little shelves that go in there. Also, this took me back. I'm pretty sure this is like a little kid's lipstick, but it's like one of those pencils that you push from the bottom and it comes out the top. I swear I had one of those and I totally forgot about it. I came across a Betty Spaghetti, a Robo Dog. Is that what it's called? Robo Dog? What, what are those called? Anywho, then this was a Y2K plush doll literally from the year 2000s. Like, isn't that so cute? But she was so floppy and flimsy that I did not grab her. And then this is that like, what is it? From Ice Age, that little squirrel guy who always like tries to find his acorn, but he looked so weird. And then I came across another one of the Power Rangers. Like I found this one last week and I explained it a little bit after on why I picked it up today, but that was cute. And this was a cute Ever After High Diary and then a Holly Hobby, I think that's the name, a little book that you can cook with mom. Okay, but then I found this Disney game board book, like this giant book that has a whole bunch of Disney game boards in it. I knew someone who had this. I don't know if it was me that had it, my grandparents, a friend, a school, I have no idea, but I know I played this and the rush of memories that came flooding back. Like I have so many of those like, you know, nostalgic moments as we all know, but I haven't had one that strong in so long. I wanted to like burst into tears. I had not thought about that since I was probably six years old. So, anywho, I found the cutest little Barbie tote bag, adorable. This is, oh my gosh, a Daniel in the Lion's Den, like, Bible cover. I swear I would have had this, like, when I was younger. I totally would have had this deck out my Bible. Like, that was so funny. Um, then I found an Ice Age 3 lunch kit, Max and Ruby. Okay, and then I found a Bratz puzzle that I was tempted to get. But, like, I don't know if all the pieces were there, and I don't want to count all those pieces, you know? Okay, not a bad stop at Value Village. The first thing I picked up was this bag. This bag of goodies, so it comes with a, what's, what's her name again? Betty Spaghetti. So we've got Betty Spaghetti and then it came with three of the Mighty Beans. So I just picked it up. Then, this was here from last week. And if you don't remember, I got the two other colors, red and green. And I left this one because it was 
gross. Um, for some reason, it's like cleaner. So I grabbed it now. I don't know why it's cleaner. I don't know what happened, but like, okay, I'll grab it. Then it's been a while since I've come across a Barbie bag and I found another one. This is similar to like that strawberry shortcake one I got, but it's so cute. It's like a camping one. It's like a camping vibe adventure Barbie. Like, look, look at her adventuring. This is so stinking adorable. And it's from the year 2004. Then I have no idea what brand this is, what it's from. Literally, I don't know anything like that. I have no idea, but it's in such good condition. It comes with the tiniest little bag hanging. It's definitely for like girls, like little girls, but it's the cutest thing. And whenever I tried to look it up on eBay, these like Gucci bags kept coming up. And I was like, is this like a little knockoff Gucci bag for kids? And I also got it because it's really clean and inside it also comes with the strap if you want it but there's like no tag or anything so i don't know what brand when this was made but it was just speaking to me this was speaking to me so i grabbed it i'm gonna do some more research but it says like paris on the front and i literally love it so much and then i don't know if i should have gotten this but i did get the care bears backpack it's from 2021, but when I was looking online, I couldn't like find any of them. So I'm gonna list it on eBay and see if anybody wants it. It's literally so adorable though. Like it has the Care Bears, well, it didn't have the Care Bears logo, but it has the butt heart and it's definitely a Care Bear and it's in really, really good condition. So, so I grabbed it. So I grabbed it. Um, okay let's go to marshall's i'm just going to marshall's because i want to see what valentine stuff they have obviously and i also want to see what kind of um if they have any wall shelves like small wall shelves i want to put some shelves in my bathroom to hold my perfume and then i also want to find some shelves to like hold my um some stuff in my bedroom like the funkos i have and stuff like that so let's see what marshall's has in store for us Okay, I ended up getting a shelf or two little acrylic shelves from HomeSense. It's kind of hard to see because of the sign, but this is what they look like. I'm going to use these in my bathroom for all my perfumes. I will let you know when I get them up and what it all looks like. I'm excited. It was on sale for $13. And all the other shelves I was looking at online were at least like $20. So I'm happy. I'm a happy girl. I popped into another thrift store because why not? This was a giant like Winnie the Pooh plush in a rain jacket. This was also giving me like Claire's vibes. I would have hung that in my room for sure. Then they had this giant old TV for only $20. If I like I had if I had a house and room for one of those, I would have gotten it. Um this was a bear in the big blue house talking book. So adorable. Some more Teletubbies VHS tapes. I might have shown one of these in a previous video, but um they added another one, so that was fun. And then this was a happily ever after VHS I've never seen before. I wanted that strawberry shortcake little cashier toy. That was adorable. They had some fun like sci-fi magazines. I just like don't need to pick up any more of these magazines before I sell more. I need to sell more in my booth before I grab any other ones. And then it was a Robert Munch kind of day, a DVD and a VHS. Like did somebody get rid of their collection or something? And then Jackpot, I hit so many. Mary-Kate and Ashley, not so many, just three Mary-Kate and Ashley DVDs. I have not come across those in so long. And then I found some Barbie and Polly Pocket stuff. It's really a good day when like I see like Y2K toys that have been donated, like a whole bunch of them. I feel like that means like somebody cleared out their house or something and then this was from like a story that like lion and a mouse let me know if you know what story that was from i just can't remember right now and then i found another pink dog well i decided to go to one more thrift store as you saw i didn't even tell you guys i was going there but i did and i found some good stuff so i got the robert munch on vhs i've never found a robert munch thing on vhs before in my entire life did not know these were a thing so it has um, Mortimer as well. So it's something good. And then Mortimer. Incredible. Then I got this for my nephew. This is a Bear in the Big Blue House book. So I'm going to have to change the batteries and clean it up a little bit. It was $5. I love him. I love him. I can get this for him even though it was $5. But... 
He's gonna love that. He loves Bear in the Big Blue House. Then I found the mother load of Mary Kate and Ashley. We have switching gold. We have getting there. And we have when in Rome. I have a few of these now, so I think I'm gonna put all of them together on a Etsy listing and you can choose which one you would like. They are in great condition. I checked all the discs and they are in great condition. Whoa, like what the heck? What a good day of thrifting. <sighs> all right, now I have to get groceries and I don't want to at all. I'm gonna do a grocery haul for you um, and just show you how crazy Canadian prices are. Cause everything I got was $55 and I feel like I like didn't get anything. $55. I got a Caesar salad kit because I've just been craving Caesar salad. I bought these pitas. They are thin pizza crusts, but like pita style. Um, I got a triple berry oatmeal crisp cereal, a little more healthy than my usual. I'm trying this President's Choice Apple Grape Juice. I got syrup because I forgot I got pancake mix and I want to make pancakes, but I need syrup. I also got olive oil because I'm out. I got double chocolate chip muffins. I got garlic, minced garlic because mine is expired. Macintosh apples. And then honestly, I just got frozen food because the prices of like protein and everything else is off the charts. Like to get chicken breasts, it would have been like $15. That's a no from me. Also, I was gonna do this like chicken pineapple recipe, but there was no brown sugar. Apparently there's a sugar strike, so there's no brown sugar. So I got President's Choice Frozen Meals, this chicken carbonara and mac and cheese because they were on sale. Bagel Bites are back, baby. This brand of Bagel Bites, tasty. And then a Hungry Man was also on sale. So yeah, it's just like living as a single person, I feel like it's very hard to buy groceries because it's like, I don't want four chicken breasts. I just want two chicken breasts. I don't want to buy four chi chicken breasts. And if I freeze it, I always forget that it's in my freezer. So that that's what I got. Okay, I have a couple orders to pack. One being a ginormous order. There's a couple in my closet. Hey, yeah, there it is. This guy, can you see him? And then, ooh, what else was I looking for in here? Snorlax. My Pokemon Snorlax plush. This Phineas and Ferb Spooktacular joke book. How cute. I ha I've had this forever. So that. Then. Ooh. Okay. We also have another item in here. Awesome. Just awesome. Also. The Pokemon keychain playing card game. I'm gonna miss this guy. This was so cute. Then they have a couple books, Care Bears, Easter Egg Hunt, and then this Batman and the Magician, um, not chapter book, picture book. I don't think I showed you this yesterday, but the same person also ordered this Y2K bug. I'm gonna miss this guy. This vintage Halloween decor this thanksgiving cat book and then this girl talk book as well the same customer ordered pokemon the first movie on vhs and finally they ordered this be my valentine book it's so cute little mouse one and it's from the year it's from 1992. the next order is the muppets take manhattan on vhs so adorable i also got an ebay order Somebody ordered the Sandy Lion Barbie extravaganza kit. They sent in an offer on eBay. I counter offered it. They counter offered again. And then I just accepted it because clearly they really, really want this. So I accepted their offer. And now they're the brand new owner of this amazing, amazing sticker kit. And the final order is this cutie, cutie Elmo keychain with the tag still attached. And I think it said the year on it. 
1997 and it says it's a gift for somebody. I just put in new batteries and listen to the difference. Oh, hi there. Thank you. That is so much better. Okay, it is time to test the Robert Munch VHS tape that I got today and the fancy schmancy white VHS. Let's hope it works. Animated video series welcomes you to the whimsical world of acclaimed children's author Robert Munch. Is Robert Munch still alive? Why did I not know these existed? Okay, it works. I don't want to go too far since it was rewinded, but that is so fun. I need to find more of these. I need to find more of these. Let me know if you had these growing up. Here I am. I put up the shelves, the little ones I got from, where did I get these from? Marshalls? I used a Hannah Montana pencil to mark where I needed the screws to go. If that's not iconic, like there's no other way to do it. They definitely need work. Like, I wasn't sure if I should put like all of them on there or not, all my new perfumes or not. Like having the two juices here were cute, but then they didn't all fit in there. So I need to, I need to work this out, but it looks cute right now. Okay, how does that look? I like put some on the top here as well to kind of even it out, like juice, juice, and then all my new perfumes. I hope these fit. Like I don't know much about hanging things i just hope they don't fall i mean really this is so light they're not heavy at all so i think they look cute let me know what you think oh my goodness i went into shoppers drug mart to drop off my mail and then i was like okay i need to get a water bottle and i need to get some tylenol i totally forgot to get a water bottle and tylenol because of this little guy look oh, my thing my screen's bouncing look at this little Bubble Tea Valentine's Day Plush. It's a Palm Pal by Aurora. That's the brand. I saw some of these. I think it was in fall time or something like that because they had the cutest little like animals. Don't even ask me how much I spent on this because it was not cheap. But I could not just not grab it. I think this is the last Valentine's thing I am buying this year. This is it. But I thought it would look so cute on my chair with the pig and the pillow my little valentine's day plushes oh my goodness what should we name my little bubble tea what should we name this little guy if it's up to me you're